All right, everybody. I have the amp completed, and I'm going to try my first power on self test here. We should see the bulb flash right for a second and go back down. Hopefully, it falls well. I've also got a bulb here that should turn on if all goes well that way, but we're going to give it a try and see what we get. No tubes are in, just as the first power on to see how we're looking. Interesting. Nothing. Oh, you know what? I think sometimes I've been trying to I get the wrong one of these, although I might be using just a plug outlet that's bad over here. I've not tried before. Oh, there we go. All right, so we came on. We look like nothing's exploding. I, I don't see anything smoking. So what I'm going to do is test. I, now, I don't have put myself to volts DC. Actually, I'll put volts AC first. Uh, oddly, I've lost my black tip, but we're going to use the this one here. One hand in my pocket. We'll test that we've got voltages. Uh, this is on DC volts. Got 116 volts there. My lights are on. 116 volts there. Okay, that's a good sign. So we're getting voltage in there. Let me switch to DC volts and we'll test at the end of the end of the rectifier. 368, that's looking good. Uh, let me check here. Oh, I just realized something. I gotta turn it off. I do want my dummy load connected at least. So let me quickly grab that and see where is that. All right, I've got my dummy load here. But uh, where's my patch cable? Let's find that too. Uh, let's see. I have my speaker cables over here, I think. But let's look. Definitely shouldn't be a problem because I don't have tubes pushing any output. But it's also not wise to leave that on. So since I didn't have anything smoking and I've got it turned back off again, I'm going to remove the dummy load completely from the equation. I mean the dummy load. The this guy. And we'll put two normal voltages here so I can move this guy out of the way. But th that did show up as a normal light bulb mild flash and then back down, which means I'm not grounding anywhere. Oops, bumping that. So let's just give it another go and check some voltages. So lights coming up, nothing smoking still. DC volts, 391 on the main anodes and on the 394 sorry that's 394 on the main anode and then on the secondary positive is 393 no wait three yeah 390 390 390 394 all right so 394 394 384 Eh, careful there. Three seven three eighty two. And then past that guy we drop down to three eighty one and on the other side of these. Three seventy eight. Okay, so voltage is definitely a little high, but that's because we have no tubes. But that's a good positive sign. I don't see things smoking, everything looks good. I'm gonna shut her off. We'll come back in a second after I've installed all the tubes and we see how it's going from there. Alright, so I think we're recording now. So we're going to turn it on and see what we get. Turn the volume down. It looks like, sounds like there may be a little bit of an area I might need to ground a little better with kind of crackling noises, but, but. chopstick around a little bit but that's a good startup first startup and we have sound so i'm gonna leave it running for a bit i'm gonna check some voltages and we'll see how that looks as well but that's a good sign that all is hooked up right now i've heard these guys require a bit of tuning and tweaking so we'll see how that turns out but my voltages are 
Only 132 there, which is pretty good. 18 volts there, but that's not okay. 19 volts there, which seems a little weird, but 213, 202 on the power tubes, 320 right here at the first input, 325. So, okay, I'll check those voltages against the stuff, but that all looks okay, and I've got no A's. So, what I'm gonna do is get my chopstick. I'm going to turn that back up, forget the hum and noise, and tap around a little bit and see if I can figure out what's causing that uh, nasty hum. So a lot of that noise seems to be coming from just around the input jack. Right switch that's working. Main volume is working. I'm going to turn treble, mid, and bass all the way up. So it almost seems like anytime I'm touching the chassis, I'm getting a lot of that popping noise. It looks like my negative feedback has come, has broken loose. That's what's going on. And there it is now, so I'm not touching anything. So my negative feedback isn't even working right now. Um, a decent amount of that is because I'm close. Humbuckers. All right, so I'm going to take a minute. That's possibly where the bu the buzzing is coming from too. Is just having that loose wire. So I'm going to shut her down. I'm going to turn this video off, and we will uh, try and reconnect up my negative feedback. Now that may cause us some howl. We'll see, but maybe I lucked out. Here we go. Okay, I've got it reconnected now. Hopefully this won't cause that problem, but we'll see. Here we go. Okay, that's a sign. That's the sign that I've got my uh, stuff hooked up reverse now. So we're going to try and quickly swap those. 
see if that solves the problem and we'll come back in a minute but you hear the nice feedback and squeal we'll see if that can be fixed now all right we'll try this again i have now swapped those transformer leads if that turns out to sound good i will kind of shorten them up and hook them up the way they are but in a closer proximity but here we go some good buzz going. back over to the presence pot is coming right over my high voltage stuff here so I'm going to try and move that with my chopstick here a little bit. Well I will uh I've got to set this guy down. I don't know where the buzz is coming from. We'll see if we can find that but it's a working train wreck express which is good. to the base. This could be a crappy cable, I guess. I don't know. Because if I unplug it, it goes dead silent. Max volume at unplugged. That's a pretty clean signal chain. And even some of that higher end kind of slight hiss disappears with that pot going down. So, all right, well, let's plug this guy back in. We have that very well may just be noisy garage near a noisy guitar. That's one of the things that I sometimes get myself caught up in. My garage isn't the quietest place, but at low volume, it's got. Pretty good tone. In fact, that's interesting is when I touch the chassis and the guitar, the noise disappears. I think that means I'm grounding my chassis, see, or my guitar. So this is just guitar buzz. All right, well, I'm gonna play it and enjoy it, and uh, I'll give you a demo once we get it all put into a cabinet and ready to go. Thanks, guys.